Argentina, and we started doing more and more things. For instance, um, you know, right off the top of my head, we did this baby centaur, which was real simple, a little simple puppet. I think that might have been for the last centaur episode. Other monsters that we did were the, the Grendels, uh, where they did that whole um, three-part series of, um, you know, Spear and Magic Helmet, what have you, with Xena. And that was a crazy monster. I mean, Rob wanted this giant tree creature. I have a friend who's a super farmer. His name's Roger Morrissey, seven foot four. And I said, well, Roger should play the main guy. All right, here we go. Finally got our monster suit in our ca my camera. Here we are. Uh, Hello. Roger Morrissey's here in New Zealand with Hi, us. Richard. Putting in a big, scary monster. They met with Roger, and they went, yeah, this guy's a big guy. So we built the suit, and the monster stood, I, I think, almost nine feet tall. And it was huge. It was the it was built so fast. I mean, lightning speed because it was this or that, or the design changed. It was a million one things that we were literally piecing it together every single day. I mean, every shot, something was falling off. One time, the head fell off. We tried to build it. We had two weeks to build the darn thing, the Grendel. Then there was a baby Grendel that one of the stunt guys played. I liked that suit a lot because it was smaller and easier to deal with. <laughs> like the other, the big Grendel, I'm like trying to reach up, get a ladder. And, Put the head on. Like, roll, roll, roll. But that monster was cool. Those monsters were cool. I remember they showed up in a giant crate. We cracked them open. You know, looked at them. And went, got a lot of work to do. <laughs> but uh, like I said, we had two weeks to throw it together, and it, it worked great for. The, but it, it just completely fell apart, and just whoosh, by the end of the show, it was all in pieces because it just we trashed the living crap out of them. I mean, we only had time to make one suit per mama and baby, and there were stunts and fighting and jumping and kicking and smashing and it all went to crap pretty easily but they were cool monsters when i heard that xena was wrapping up it was uh you know it was kind of bittersweet i guess i uh, i had a great time working on it i knew lucy wanted to move on she was she was having you know she just had the baby with rob and she wanted to probably have another baby which they ended up having and uh she wanted to move on to other things, you know, and, and I didn't disagree by any means, you know. And I think I, I knew I was going to miss going to New Zealand big time. I knew that there'd be a lot of people that were going to be out of work. But obviously, you know, their Kiwis are inventive enough and, and uh, probably, you know, found other things to move on to, like Lord of the Rings. You look at the shows, and you're like, oh, that was really fun. And, um, you know, photos or whatever, your footage that you shot on set. But... You know, I think you just move on to the next thing, and, and even though that was a special, you know, time, and, and it was a good, like, seven, eight years or what have you run, and, and um, you do a lot of stuff, and you gain a lot of, you know, uh, friendships and, and so forth, that, uh, you know, you just have to move, figure, okay, this is the end of the run, and we'll meet somewhere down the line, and, and uh, maybe we'll do something again, you know, you never know. But it's that, it's that way all the time, but this was just special, because New Zealand is a really special place.